Good day! In this video, I'm going to prove to you that 2 equals to 1. Let me show you how. First thing I'm going to use is I'm going to use two letters, okay? So I'm going to represent the two letters with A and B. So suppose we let A equals to 1 and B is also equal to 1. So let's start the proving. Okay, so we are going to start by saying A equals to B because both of them are 1. The first thing I'm going to do is that I am going to multiply that equation by A. When I multiply that equation by A, we will get A squared equals to AB. Okay, now, one next thing we're going to do is to take away B squared from the equation. So when we take away B squared from the equation, the left hand side will become A squared minus B squared and the right hand side equation becomes AB minus B squared. You following me so far? Yes. Yeah. Now, what we're going to do is that we're going to factorize. If you know the factorization, this is the difference on 2 squared. A squared minus B squared is the same as A plus B, A minus B. You can check this by doing expanding and you'll get that answer again. So it, on this side, on the right hand side, you're going to take B the common factor and you are left with A minus B. The next thing we're going to do is that we are going to divide by A minus B on both sides because both of them appear. So we're going to divide by A minus B so you can cancel them out and your answer is going to be A plus B is equal to B. The last step we're going to show we need to do is to show that 2 equal to 1 is to substitute the values of 1, a equal to 1, and b equal to 1 into the equation. So if a is 1, so 1, and b is 1, plus 1 is equal to 1. So now we have proof that 2 is equal to 1. Interesting, isn't it? So, if this is true, can you go through and tell me is there any match fallacy that I am what? Did I make wrong? What, what did I do wrong to get this answer? A match fallacy, by the way, occurs when one makes an assumption which seems to be correct but contains flawed argument. Okay, let's look at this again. Okay, the error happens when you divide a number by zero. So if you put, when you divide a number by zero, if you put in your calculator, it will come up with a math error. So we have to look in our process that we divide any thing any number by zero so the first step is fine the second step is also fine and we factorize there's no problem at all this is where the problem starts when you divide by a minus divide a minus b because when a is one and b is one you are dividing a one minus one that is give you you dividing by zero so that is an error you should not make to, to in order to make this assumption so in actual fact two is not equal to one because there's an error in the assumption and this is a match fallacy. Cheers everyone and have a good day.